Now let's get into the Data Archiver tool. Now this is an awesome tool that I really wanted for myself for the longest time because I really wanted to monitor how many sales I get per day, but more importantly, I want to see like how many sales I get per day in a nice graph. Unfortunately, Teespring doesn't offer that feature yet. Um, uh, sorry, yes they do within their own analytics, but I want to see like all my shirts in one big grid and see all my sales I got for the last two hours, the last three hours or something like that. Well, this actually gives you the ability to monitor your own um, shirt sales and your campaigns, but it also gives you another layer. You can also see sales for any shirt. So you can basically spy on your competition and see how many sales are doing per day. Excuse me, how many sales are doing per hour, per three hours, and whatever, per whatever period you're set. So let's go ahead and show you how it, how it works here. So I just went over to um, uh, teespring forward slash discover, which is another famous place for people to go look at shirt designs that are doing well. These are all the top designs in Teespring right now and, and are currently active. So let's go ahead and just take a look at, at some of these. Let's just uh, open up a few of these here. And let's say I want to monitor the sales of this particular shirt. There's only one hour left on that, so don't worry about that one. Uh, this one has three days left, so let's say I want to monitor how many sales this shirt is actually getting. So I'll just grab the link, so I'll just right click and copy that link and go on over to the data archiver and click on add and this is where you can add a Teespring campaign link so right click and paste that link in there and then how this works is that the software will go out to this page and it will extract the information from that page for a given time period and this is the capture period setting and currently you can set it so it can capture every hour every two hours every 3, 6, 12, and 24 hours. So let's say for example I wanted to capture this particular shirt how many days are left in it. So let's say there's three days left oh, maybe I want to see how many sales that's getting every three hours. Hit add and it's going to be added to the grid here and it goes and collects the information right away and you can see um, the information. Now let me just quickly explain what this data means so it makes more sense. Uh, the period is the uh, the capture period, so we set it to three hours. So it can only be what we set in here. It's one it's one of these numbers. It's whatever this number is. That's what's going to show up in that column here. The URL, the you know if it's active or ended. You actually cannot in you you cannot insert um, ended campaigns that expired. It won't actually work. You don't. You can only do active ones, obviously. <clears throat> when it was when it's going to end is here. You see the date and time, the goal, the total amount sold, and now this information. One caps, three caps, and captures. What does that mean? All right, so let me just start with this one here. Captures is, a, is basically the number of times the software has captured information from this Teespring campaign. And so right now we have it set to capture every three hours. And once we set it to go right here, if we set the data archiver to the on state, meaning go ahead and start doing your capturing and run. Every three hours it'll go out and get a capture and it'll tell you the total number of captures here. Now what this is here is the number of sales since the previous capture. Okay, The number of sales since the previous capture. And I know that the capturing is occurring every three hours. So what this means with this particular record is it's, if this number was three, for example, then I know that there's been three sales within the last three hours. Make sense? This one here is the number of sales from the last three capture periods. So in this case, at six hours. So if, there, if this number was 20, that means there was 20 sales in the last six hours. So that gives you an idea of how fast this shirt is selling. Pretty cool, hey? Well, let me show you one that I have running right now in the background. And I've been running this for a while. Oh, let me, sorry to get all mixed up here. To run a campaign, all you got to do is hit the start button, and that's it. <laughs> Pretty simple, right? And now it's just running in the background. How this works is every half hour, the software goes and checks um, your period here. And if, it's <clears throat> and if it requires another capture, it's going to do it. And this last column here is the last time data was captured. So it was captured at this time, 
So I know in three hours from this time it's going to do another capture. Now let's say you want to force a capture. You want to capture right now. Just click this button right here and it'll go out and capture right away of all everything that um, is in this grid. So it went and got the capture. Now there's two captures there now. So let me show you some that has some data in it so it makes more sense. So these have been capturing for a while. So you can see this has 31 captures. This one has 18 captures and a whole bunch of different periods here. You can even reset the period during a capture. So you can right click, or sorry, you just you can just click this here and click edit. And I can reset the capture. Say I want to set to one hour instead of two hours. So that's a real cool feature. But here's what I want to show you, and this is what I want to I left this for last because I'm so excited about it. If you just double click on one of these, check this out. Boom. You can see the number of sales per whatever capture period you had that set at. So you can see here, what was the capture period for that one? It was every hour. So I can see the number of sales every hour for this shirt. Isn't that just deadly? So now I can see how quick, I can not only see how many sales are getting, I can see when they're getting sales. Very powerful information to have. And this is really good for your own campaigns. You can see when a shirt is selling, and better yet, you can figure out your conversions. You know how many sales you got during this hour between these two this hour here you went from 100 1011 to 1021 that's 10 sales. So I went 10 sales in that hour. So now you can go and look at your metrics in Facebook or wherever you're selling and you can see how much you spent and how much you made. Now you know your true EPC. It's just awesome. Of course you can get your individual data from um, your Teespring as well, but this allows you to actually sort of spy on other people's campaigns. So it's really powerful. And we have the ability here so you can actually just save it. It just saves it as an HTML file. So we can just save it here as an HTML file. And um, we can go back to that. <coughs> Oops. I'm trying to look for one of the buttons there. Oh, there we go. Open last working folder. Uh, where did it go? There it is. And you can see that's the the graph we just created opens up in a browser so now you got some really cool graphics sorry not graphics uh, uh, stats for your campaigns Let me trying to find it there where did it go oh here it is so that's a really cool feature so I just keep this running and I can quickly see that you know within the last two hours this shirt got 41 sales so within the last capture right so with and the, for this one, the capture period is three hours, so there's 51 sales in the last three hours. And there's, there's 62 sales in the last six hours. Pretty cool. There was, and this one was uh, last six hours as well. Oh, sorry, this would have been the last nine hours. <laughs> three hours times three captures is nine hours, sorry. This is six hours. But let's look at this one here. So in the last hour, there's 14 sales. In the last three hours is 37 sales. So this is really powerful little tool that I've integrated that I always really wanted. Now here's another cool uh, thing I integrated is uh, this data is stored in a whole bunch of different files within the uh, like the directory of this software. But there's going to be times when you need to basically save this data and and um, basically start it again in, in like another software. <clears throat> to give you an example. Um, I have many computers in my in my house, so I'll have my laptop that I'm working on, and say in the kitchen upstairs, and I have my office downstairs, and say I'm doing all this logging and stuff, and I want to get this information on my laptop and just continue the archiving. You can do that. You simply just click the export button, and what the export is going to do, it's going to export all the data, which includes the data you see in this grid and the individual capture data, all in a single file. So it's so now you can import it into any other soft or any other version of this software on say on other computers. So let's open up. I think I have another one open here. So there's two softwares open up here. Let's put that to the side. You can see this one here just has the one we stuck in there. So now I can import what we just exported there, the archiver campaigns, and boom, now it's imported. And now I'm actually logging the data in this software and this software. But it just shows you how simple it is to uh, import and export your archive data into into the software across different computers or or wherever. So 
that's a cool feature and what it does it just adds the campaign so you can see I already I had a campaign in there already so it just took the ones I that I saved from this and I just basically appended it into this into this version of the software so that's basically it for the data archiver tool very powerful and I highly recommend using it